Hey y'all, I'm Dominique. Today is Wednesday, December 15th, and it's my first official day in the lab at my hospital. For context, I accepted a full-time position as a generalist, so I will be training for the next few months in all departments to include hematology, coag, microbiology, chemistry, blood bank, all that. It's an awesome opportunity, especially as a new grad entering the field to begin developing skills in all areas. So for today, I'm wearing these Eon by Maven scrubs in the color Pewter. So I had to stack up on a lot of like charcoal gray, dark gray color scrubs. But for today, I'm wearing these. They have a front pocket. It's a tuckable shirt. So this is like their sports collection, I think. And pocket right here, pocket right here, one right here. There's two other pockets in the back. And these are the jogger style. But yeah. I think I do like the gray color just because it's easy to find and most times I'm able to find my size. <laughs> so let's get going. Let me show you guys what I'm bringing with me today to the hospital. The first is my orientation manual. In this binder, it has everything that I need to navigate my hospital. My laboratory manual. So this has all of the information I need for training purposes. I'm bringing this notebook so that I can begin jotting down all my quick notes, especially like if I ask questions and things like that, I can write all that information in here. I have my writing utensils. These are some new pens I saw that they're really cute, but this is Sharpie S gel pen. This is just have a regular sharp marker, a big <laughs> mechanical pencil. But those are my writing utensils that will go on my lab coat when I get it. I packed a light lunch to go into my lunch box for today. With a few snacks and meal energy. Also my water bottle to go in there as well once I fill it up with more water. And lastly is my 2022 planner so I can balance life. I have to keep up with my training schedule plus my second job and my hobbies and YouTube and everything. So this will come in handy this year. Grabbing all this stuff, my lunch bag and my water bottle, we're heading out the door. All right, so I'm here now. I left extra early in order to have time to figure out where I need to go because the hospital is a decent size and it's pretty much given a maze. All I know is that the lab is somewhere near the ED. So I wanted to make sure I gave myself ample time to get here in order to find it this morning. Uh, I do feel like <laughs> it's a little bit of butterflies, which I'm sure will go away once I get to know what to expect out of training and I get to meet everybody. I think I'll be doing a tour and an overview of the lab and the testing and everything that we do. And then I think it's just online training after that. Okay, so I'm done for the day. I got to tour the entire laboratory, which is so nice. I'm not in the basement. There's so many just huge windows everywhere and it has so much natural light <laughs> coming into this lab. So basically I will be a full-time week night tech working Sunday through Thursday 11p to 7a just for anyone that is curious I don't have patient interactions I don't draw blood or collect specimens none of that that is all up to lab support and nurses for anybody that might ask because <laughs> y'all ask that a lot on my videos but no I don't I don't really do anything with the patients training process it already is starting to feel just like clinicals all over again except this time I'm getting paid. And this time I'm fully responsible for my choices and the patient's results and the analyzers. So it's a little bit nerve wracking when I think about it. So basically today my training was partially online. After I finished the online training, um, we then began to focus on specimen accessioning. That is receiving patient specimens and routing them to the department and the laboratory that they need to go to for testing. I deserved to lead the system for a little bit and then I took over and was on my own after that. I think it went pretty well um, overall. Thankfully my supervisor is okay with working around my life schedule right now for this week especially because tomorrow I'm off for graduation and they also gave me Friday as well as Friday and Saturday to spend time with my family. I am expected to work during these holidays, so I won't really have any time off to spend with my my parents that are coming down this weekend for graduation. So glad they are letting me have that time with them. So I come back Sunday night to begin training in chemistry. 
I'm really excited because it's the same analyzer manufacturer that I worked with in clinicals, the Roche Cobas, which I actually really like them, um, but I also don't know anything else as far as chemistry analyzers go, so my my view could be pretty screwed because I hear so many complaints about the Roche. And then after that, they are planning to have me in hematology, which is combined with your analysis and coagulation. I don't know how long my full training is going to be. The schedule is really up in the air right now. Um, because micro and blood bank, those are just departments that take a little longer to get. Especially for, at least I'm told, especially for new grads. Pretty much everything is dependent on my pace and how fast it takes me to learn things and develop my critical thinking skills. <laughs> because they have said over and over and over that on night shift, um, it is more of an independent type of setting because I will be by myself without a lot of leadership there with me to help me make decisions. So they want to make sure that I'm ready for that. I'm hoping that through this training experience, I'll be able to develop a good foundation for my first year in the lab. It seems like it's going to be a lot. As of now though, I feel that same giddiness I had for each time I began a new clinical rotation. <laughs> like, just excited about seeing what's new. Except this time, I kind of know what to expect as far as the job goes. And everyone has been really reassuring to me and have told me that they've all been in my shoes at some point because we've all had to start somewhere. I mean, they've already said that they do expect a new grad to learn at a certain pace. So, good if I learn fast or whatever, but it's also okay if I take my time, which is really nice to hear. <laughs> so I thought I was gonna be rushed to just training um, for other reasons. But yeah, but it's just, it's so much information at once. But I'm really excited. They've all have welcomed me and seem like they will take the time to teach me. I think right now I am the youngest in the entire lab. So maybe that's also why they're really nice because they just seem as this little baby tech <laughs> just starting out her career, which is the case. It's all I wanted out of my first job was to start out in a place that I can grow, learn, and expand my knowledge and figure out where I really want to go with my career. So yeah, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. This was a pretty good first day in the laboratory. I know I couldn't really take you guys along into the lab, but I really, really, really need to just focus on what I'm doing during this training period. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel because I will continue to bring you guys along on my journey as a new grad in the medical laboratory field. I'll see y'all next time.